we took some professional hits uh, because our, our supervisors told us to stop and we kept talking to other people, but we knew it was important for the country and we just kept going. But as you get below about 90 nanometers, your options, your suppliers get uh, much less in the world to only a handful. Those handful of companies were largely manufacturing overseas. And so as we saw the need in national security systems becoming greater in terms of processing power, particularly for AI, we couldn't source those components onshore. It took four years to convince Pentagon leadership, congressional leadership that we had to do something about it. And that was a very difficult time and a difficult conversation to say, these are important for national security and economic prosperity, and we need to do something big to bring those companies back and that production back to the U.S. More often than not, the programs, at least on the DOD side, don't really help to influence manufacturing. They point back to the technologists and say, hey, that's your problem, man, not my problem, right? How did you break down that barrier? That's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough nut to crack. This was the biggest change in industrial policy, I think, since World War II. 